the recent hijacking of the Bangladeshi flag vessel MV Abdullah by Somali pirates underscores the critical need for robust maritime security measures in Bangladesh. As a nation, we are heavily reliant on maritime trade, and any disruption to the safety and security of our water poses significant economic risk. Hi everyone, I'm Mohsina Mustafa Miti, and today I'm going to present a critical analysis of Bangladesh's maritime security and future preparedness. Maritime security in Bangladesh goes beyond mere economic concerns. It plays a pivotal role in ensuring food security by safeguarding marine resources vital for the population's sustenance. Moreover, maintaining maritime security is essential for protecting the country's territorial integrity and sovereignty, especially against external threats like piracy, smuggling, and illegal migration. Additionally, it helps to mitigate environmental risks such as oil spills and pollution, safeguarding fragile ecosystems along the coast. While Bangladesh has enacted various laws and ratified international conventions to address maritime security issues, the recent hijacking incident highlights gap in enforcement and adherence to global standards. Despite having legal frameworks like the Territorial Waters and Maritime Zones Amendment Act, and implementing the International Ship and Port Facility Security Code, challenges persist in effectively deterring maritime threats. One of the significant challenges is the lack of coordination among different authorities responsible for maritime security, including the Coast Guard, Maritime Administration, and Port Authorities. Lessons learned from such incidents emphasize the importance of enhancing capacity building efforts both in terms of institutional capabilities and human resources. Bangladesh can benefit from forging strategic partnerships with international allies to access expertise and resources necessary for bolstering its maritime security posture. In conclusion, ensuring maritime safety and security is not just about protecting economic interests, but also about safeguarding national sovereignty, environmental sustainability, and the well-being of coastal communities. By addressing gaps in enforcement, enhancing coordination, and investigating in infrastructure and capacity building, Bangladesh can strengthen its maritime security and pave the way for a safety and more prosperous future. To learn more about this issue, please visit our website, which is www.dips.org.bd. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.